Caring for Our Watersheds is an environmental competition funded by Agrium and facilitated by EarthForce. The competition starts with students identifying an issue related to their watershed in their community. They research, they come up with a solution for that issue, they write a proposal that's then submitted to the competition and judged by experts in the field. Based on that, they actually receive funding to solve that problem in their community. What we picked was the loss of wetlands in Alexandria and also the resultant loss in habitats for native species and the decline in water quality. And so we were able to plan this project with the guidance of Ms. Breslin, our science teacher at the time. EarthForce provides the educators participating with a community action and problem solving process curriculum that helps them guide their students through not only gaining the STEM knowledge they need to solve these problems, but also the civic skills and the environmental motivation and understanding they need to actually tackle these solutions. The Caring for a Watershed program allows me to be able to teach six or more learning standards and so through the process of the EarthForce curriculum students are involving themselves in these learning standards but they're also learning core competency skills so communication skills, decision-making skills, leadership skills. It's more than just teaching them the actual content itself. So we wrote our grant and we had to create a procedural plan what we would do if we got the money and we decided that we were going to use the money to fund a field trip for our class to go and help restore a wetland with the National Park Service. We will go outside bring some logs in. My philosophy is to take the teaching outside the four walls of classroom. How can we engage them where they understand the why am I teaching you this? They came up with banning the plastic bottle and the use of plastic bottle. So their solution was to install bottle filling stations. So I said, sure, let's write a project. It's like throwing a fish in the ocean. I just said, let's get started. What do we need? The project was not at all a teacher driven project. So it was really nice for us to be the ones in control and the teachers more helping us rather than and, you know, saying do this, do that. So it was really nice to work with them for once. One of the really important things that I learned is how to talk to professionals and ask them for help or to help organize events outside of our school. And so through Caring for Our Watersheds, we actually practiced reaching out to both the National Park Service and to the Alexandria Seaport Foundation. It was pretty nerve wracking to sit in front of a bunch of sophisticated adults and ask for a ton of money. But then when it did happen, it was like, you know, that's for real and it's, it's a really good feeling. Connecting your learning in your life, no matter what it is, to real life and finding a solution through that lens is very important than just memorizing the content and just knowing the content. If you take that knowledge and do something with it, that's the true learning. Only a certain amount of skills are really tested in a regular traditional classroom. What I love about EarthForce is that those students that are kind of hiding, they are the ones that actually can sometimes be your leaders in the project. Once I had had that seventh grade science class, I realized that science was this fantastic way to solve problems and that we could make you know, people's lives better and that we could improve our community through science. It definitely changed the way I thought about my future.